Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. We hope your holidays were good, and good is the word for stocks today. The Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 each ending higher for a fifth session in a row. It is the first time we've seen that this year. For the blue-chip Dow stocks, it is the first five-day winning streak since last October. Volume, by the way, was the year's lightest, and stocks did trade in the narrowest range of the year as well. The Dow, when all was said and done, higher by 40 points, NASDAQ up 26, and the S&P jumped 7. Solid earnings from Kimberly Clark, Hasbro, Halliburton all helped to push prices higher, and the generally favorable tone of profit reports lately have boosted stocks so far this earnings season. But it's early. This week, about a third of the S&P 500 companies will report their latest quarterlies. And Dominic Chu takes a look at some of the most closely watched earnings and what investors will be looking for. Eleven companies in the Dow Industrials will report earnings this week, as well as around 150 companies in the S&P 500. It's going to be the busiest week of earnings so far this season, but some reports will be scrutinized by investors more than others. First up is McDonald's. The world's biggest restaurant company will report earnings on Tuesday before the start of trading. Mickey D's is often seen as a barometer of consumer spending across the globe. For that reason, investors look beyond just the headline earnings and sales numbers. They will be focused on things like growth in comparable store sales in each major geographic region they operate in. In 2013, those comp sales, or sales in stores open at least a year, grew by just two-tenths of a percent. On Wednesday, keep a close eye on Apple. And not just because it's still the biggest publicly traded company in America as measured by market value. Investors here will be checking out whether the market for higher end smartphone products remains intact. It's also a story about growth and innovation. Apple has long been seen as a leader in bringing hot new products to market. So can it keep up the new product momentum? And then there's the automakers, GM in particular. It reports earnings on Thursday, and investors here will be looking for general health in the global auto market. Car sales in America are showing signs of life, but growth in key markets like China will be a huge focus. Investors will also be listening closely for any comments from GM regarding the ongoing investigation into its ignition switch recall and what kind of effect it may or may not have on future sales. Of course, every earnings report from every company is important in some way, but these are three big ones to pay close attention to in this heavy week of earnings. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dominic Chu.